सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टू बाइट यूट्यूब चैनल वंस अगेन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वर्किंग गुड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एंड अंडरस्टैंड द डिबर्गिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू डिबर्गिंग इन आर एन एक्स पी एस थर्टी टू के वन फोर फोर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वर्जन टू डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड एंड दी एस थर्टी टू डिजाइन स्टूडियो आई डी सो एज दिस इज द दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग माइक्रो कंट्रोलर टेक्नोलॉजी सो in this in the last couple of videos we have started with the id first of all started with the design study to design studio id and understand how to make project on it how to use the code configuration tool of of it how to build the project on it and now this is the final part in which we are going to understand it how to flash and what is the debugging technology in microcontrollers so now without wasting time let's get started so guys in this video we are going to explore and understand the debugging part of the microcontrollers and we are going to see that how to debug the nxp study to k144 microcontroller using study design studio id so first of all so is to understand what is debugging why is it required and what are the different tools and hardware tools and what all things are there so by the time this video will be uploaded you will be able to see the update on the getting started with design studio part 3 blog in which i have covered all these points and uh, stated all these answers so i will highly recommend to all the viewers when they are seeing this video they should check out this blog and understand and read about what is debugging if they don't have an idea and what are the different hardware debuggers on it and what are the different software debugging tools and how to do the debugging so now in the video in this video as the not making the video length very much long and much more focusing on the practical things so we are going to understand that what the project that we have builded in the last video of our studio design studio ide so how to debug this project okay now one important thing before moving further i want to tell you is that the s32 k144 or the nxp s32 platform of microcontroller that we are using it supports two type of hardwares debugging hardwares basically okay and those are the gd the jlink debuggers okay or the p micro uh, debugging interface so if you are using the original uh, evaluation board by the nxp of the s32 k144 the orange one in color it is on board gdb uh, p micro debugger and if you are using the electronics version to development board which is being developed by me and uh, as get to byte so in that we will be using the jlink debugger so we need we will be using the debug configuration in jlink as de uh, uh, debug configuration as jlink okay so like the the important thing to tell you about to tell you is this, there are basically two types of debugging hardwares that are supported in study to k144 in study to design studio id p micro debugger and the jlink debugger the whatever debugger you are using correspondingly configuration would be made on that okay so uh, now our elf file has been generated click on the project go to the run and first of all what we need to do is debug configuration we need to configure the debug files that how to debug how to flash the l file into a microcontroller so as we are using the jlink uh, jlink v9 debugger okay with our uh, this electronics version 2 so we would be making configuration under the jlink debugging okay jdb jlink sega jlink debugger now it might be that your question might be coming what is jdb and what is sega i will i recommend that you guys just read this blog okay in this blog i have told all the things in a very uh, easy and in a very uh, simple way for the freshers to start with okay and this gdb pe micro is there now another thing is that you can see here there are two configurations which you can see debug flash jlink and debug ram jlink so as you know in a microcontroller there are two type of memories mainly flash memory or the ram memory the flash memory is the memory in which even if the pow after powering of the microcontroller program sustains in the memory and in the ram uh, it's a no, no volatile memory that is after the power of the uh, program in it the code the data in it gets uh, erased 
so we can configure for which kind of memory we want to configure the code okay we want to flash the code into and by default we will be using the debug flash and that's what we are going to move further with and in this the all the configurations that you are seeing this will be automatically done by default you don't need to change anything but yeah it's a good way to explore and understand what all does these uh, configurations mean what all the specifications and feature means startup source and these things so all these things are being uh, like just to tell you about an idea so there is a use of gdb and open ocd software debugging tools use of uh, swd and jtag protocols so all these protocols uh, background knowledge is important and would be required for understanding these configuration and features so like uh, i would be covering those things in the upcoming videos as we will be doing more hands-on on this microcontroller right now we will be just using these as default configurations and then just click on debug but before clicking on debug just uh, make sure that you have connected your hardware with the laptop your corresponding microcontroller with the debugger and the debugger is connected to your microcontroller uh, to your laptop so click on debug and after clicking on debug it will first compile the project again build process will again and then it will be communicating and once it is communicated you will be seeing the console window like this then it will ask like it is communicating with the debugger and it is communicated with the microcontroller that's why it is showing the registers of the microcontrollers and after that it will be asking to switch to the debug view so click on switch and then you will be able to see the window like this debug view where we can see that where file uh, the our code is stopped at which file which file number uh, which line number and what is its address okay and the by default first of all the code would be stopped at the int main at the very first line and now this is the debug now in the debug these this is the very important uh part okay this is like we have flashed the code into our microcontroller now we can if you click on this button resume button so you will be able to see that your hardware uh, in your hardware your led started blinking okay and i think we i have just uh, yeah so this is interrupt fail like if such a window comes just close the debugger interface first and then relaunch the debugging perspective again okay so click over on the right on it and then click on terminate and remove at first go to the project explorer click on it click on it and then debug as we have done the debug configuration first time so we don't need to do the debug configuration again and again you can just click on the debug and then it will be by default debugging by itself now if we click on the resume button so you will be able to see starting target cpu and our code is being running now so in the screen if you can see so my led is being blinking of my development board now i have shaken the debugger that's why it is showing error cannot read register cannot read register because i have shaken the C, uh, some jumper wires so let's just uh, again start the debugging process of the microcontroller okay so yes so we will first need to terminate this okay so we will click on right click on it and click on relaunch okay so no but it will be first terminate and then relaunch okay so connection is shut down again starting the connection building the again and then you will be able to see again it will communicate with the debugger will communicate in microcontroller and code is stopped at hover here clicking on the resume button will run the program and then we can uh, there are certain features that i need to tell you about the debug is the step over and step into so using the step into we can step in the code line by line so let's say now if i step into and i am at the pins drive initialize function so it will get into this function okay and it will start executing this function now line by line so this becomes very easy and these are the certain features of debugging also there are views like uh, like let me just type over here expressions okay so expressions view is there then there is variables uh, view is there okay and in the variables view what we can see is we can see all the uh, these uh, the local variables that are there in our function that we are debugging we can see all those things 
uint i value is zero right now pin count as the the pin count the arguments that we have sent so this becomes very easy for us when we are debugging the code okay and clicking on this step over we can debug we can directly uh, step over to the function okay step return it will execute this function totally and return to the function stack the call stack of this function okay so clicking on it return it will uh, get back to the main dot c then we can again step over and then if we get into this step into so we will get into the function and correspondingly you can also see in the debug view it is showing you that in which file it has now from main dot c 50th line it has come to the pins drive function now if i again step to our call stack would be again here one more function is edit pins gpio set pins so you can see that it becomes very easy for us when we are under when we want to understand the code how is it behaving how is it running and how is it working on okay so yes so uh, like as i am debugging it if you can see in the hardware also that it is debugging correspondingly correspondingly my leds are blinking and correspondingly my leds are getting delayed okay and yes so that's all about the debug there are many other features and views in the debug that we can use like you can see over here we can put the breakpoints we can see the arm registers we can memory we can browse the memory and seeing the map file and assembly file and these things so and in this video i just want to tell you about the general understanding and how do we are going to run and debug our code in our uh, electronics version to development both throughout this development and tutorial series as we do more hands on on this i will be exploring more and more features and views of the debug perspective and the debugging features in the design studio id so i hope guys that you get an idea in this video is informative to you and new to you and the debugging which i'm showing you in this video is kind of same for all the kind of microcontrollers whether you are working on stm microcontroller texas instrument microcontrollers renesas microcontrollers debugging and build process is pretty much same for all the kind of microcontrollers just some configurations has to be changed okay so that's it for this video now from the, now in this week till this video we have covered all the things of design studio id we have installed it we have understand how to make project on it we have understand how to use the code configuration tool of studio design studio id we have understand how to build the process on it and what is the compilation process and build process it the use of linker scale startup code map file and all those things what are their roles and how to use them and in the design studio id and how to get the executive level dot l file from a dot c and dot h files and in this video we have understand the debugging process how to flash the dot l into a microcontroller and how to use the debug perspective and debug views for understanding the code base so now from the next video we are going to do the actual hands on on this microcontroller we are going to cover the peripheral by peripheral about all the peripherals of the microcontroller starting with the first of all clock peripheral of the microcontroller and then using gpio uart i2c and spi so i hope this video is informative to you do share it with your friends so that this video and this playlist can reach to the more masses so as to buy the electronics version to development board and the debugger you can check the below description link and uh, till then stay safe stay happy see you guys in the next video so that's it for now guys like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded